the classic handicap chase is next three miles and five fur on grade three handicap and at the top of the lineup for Joshua Sutherland first coalition Leon van Rensburg on our star Paul Parsons bring me luck Graham Clutterbuck sacred memorial Leon van Rensburg there on time David Hooley Dakla Wall and Canton Wim for James Shea Murty's pride John Morgan Marazzi on Darren Thompson place the Duchess Alex Cherry El Centro wonderful Vinnie Gerard Master Owen Martin Lidham, Katie Holmes, Matt Cooper, Law Society, Graham Clutterbuck, Hot Springs wins for Vinnie Gerard, Amanda for Matt Cooper and Finding Alice for Martin Lidham at the bottom of the 18. There'll be a lot of these out of the handicap. And away they go. That's the winning post. They've got two complete circuits ahead of them. That doesn't seem quite right to me. Three mile and five furlongs, two circuits and one more, it's just about it's a mile and three quarters around, isn't it, I think. Oh yeah, it's just about right. Anyway, Murty's pride's gone off into a clear lead. From place the Duchess in second, but the leader has already gone five or six clear, so it's another one of these John Morgan front runners. Not seen many today so far. It's been mostly novices today. And graded races, not been that many. Handicaps and they get over the first. There's been a few though, uh, but we haven't seen many of John Morgan's front runners, is what I meant to say. And he's already got this field strung out by 25 lengths. First to last, and they've only jumped one fence. And Murty's Pride is the clear leader. Well, bring me luck in second. And Marazzi on a Law Society with Master Owen after them. Again, we've only got one grain, a big field. Is finding Alice. Murty's pride is clear in front. And into the second. So we've got over nicely. Dakla Wall, just a back marker. But Murty's pride is in the lead in at the third, which is a ditch. Rest of them over in OK with Graham Clutterbuck. I mean, second and third. Bring me up in Law Society. Then Master Owen is in fourth with Marazzi on the outside of that on fifth. Then comes First Coalition. Then Argyle Star is. Oh, the leader's gone! Murty's Pride's gone! And that's a big, big change to the race then now because the whole complexion of this race is going to change completely because nothing was going with him in the lead and the pace will likely drop right off now. And we get a totally different race to what we would have probably got if Murty's Pride had have stayed on his feet. So it's Bring Me Luck from Master Owen and Law Society. Master Owen jumped that really well and has jumped into the lead. I'm not 100% certain that he wants to be in the lead. El Centro Wonderful is in fourth. Then Argyle Star is next. Then First Coalition Marazzi on is after that place. The Duchess, one of these long distance front runners, are not in this race. I mean, other opportunities for them to go for this week. I mean, bypass this one. Maybe because they noticed that Murty's pride was in it and thought they didn't want to have a battle for the lead. But they get over that ditch. And it's Master Owen who's in front from Bring Me Luck in second. Law Society's in third. Place the Duchess is fourth. Then El Centro, wonderful first coalition. Argyle style. You can see how tight they're all grouped now. Whereas when Murty's pride was in the race, they were all strung out 25 lengths. First to last, now it's no more than 10. And Bring Me Luck is in the lead from First Coalition as they take this plain one. And that will probably show some of you who maybe don't quite understand what the, some of the bigger trainers are saying when they talk about the pace in their trials. If you are, imagine if you're doing your trials to find out which of your best horses and you haven't got a Murty's Pride in the race and you run the race like this, we're going to get a different result. So if you have got a Murty's Pride type horse in the race and they get really strong out, so it's fascinating to know what to do. It doesn't matter what I do, I never do any good anyway, so anyway. But that you can see is why they say that, because you can see this race has completely changed complexion since Murty's Pride felt. They were going a good strong gallop, they were well strung out, and now it's become a bit of a tactical, it's just old position 
until the final spurt in the final mile or maybe even half mile anyway enough waffle and heading down to the next bring me luck is in the lead El Centro Wonderful has gone into second you can see the horse that was leading not too long ago Master Owen is now right out the back so oh, towards the back anyway Maratzion is another one who was quite close up who's near the back on the front there but it's bring me luck in front El Centro Wonderful second first coalition is in third Amanda is next Hot Springs wins counting Wim Argyle star then Master Owen there trying to creep back up the inside again on the outside of Katie Holmes then comes Sacred Memorial, Law Society is another one who's dropped back. Place the Duchess also, Dakla Wall and Marazion. Finding out it's the only grey. And finally the top weight, the lineup. And it's got a huge weight to carry, but it is significantly better off with a lot of them than it should be as they get over the 12th. And bring me luck in front. Just a mile to go now, so they're going to have to start racing soon. El Centro Wonderful is in second as they get over this ditch. In third place, there on time has moved through. Then comes Master Roman again on the inside of Sacred Memorial. And then Counting Wim, he's after that. It's El Centro Wonderful and Bring Me Luck over the 14th in the lead from there on time. Then comes Sacred Memorial, First Coalition, Counting Wim. Fine, yeah, this is after that one. Massaro made a mistake at the last. Maratzion is starting to make a forward move. Argyle Star is there as well as they get over the 15th, which they all got over nicely. And El Centro, wonderful, and bring me luck. Are disputing the lead from there on time. The grey finding Alice now sweeps through into third, being chased by stablemate Mastero. And over the 16th they go, and it's El Centro Wonderful who's in the lead from Bring Me Luck in second. Finding Alice and Mastero in the next. Marazzi on round the outside, then there on time. And Sacred Memorial on first coalition. Law Society trying to get back into it as well. Counting Wim trying to run on. There's plenty of chances past the four pole. El Centro Wonderful from Finding Alice and Mastero in Bring Me Luck and there on time. Marazzi on. First coalition. There's about eight of them in with a chance as they come down towards the 17th. This is the final ditch. Over it they go. El Centro, wonderful landing. There's a fall of their sacred memorials gone. But it's El Centro, wonderful from there on time. Three to jump. Master Owens back in third. Then comes Bring Me Luck. Marazzi on. Law Society is still trying to run on. This is the third last. And it's there on time. And El Centro, wonderful for Master Owen. Back in third. Hot Springs wins. Law Society and Marazzi on place. The Duchess was a faller in the back. But they're coming out of the final two. And over it goes there on time. In the lead. El Centro Wonderfuls over it in second. These two are well clear. The rest of them is between these as they come to the final fence. And it's there on time who's in front. There on time is in the lead. There on time takes the last in front. But El Centro Wonderful jumps it better. And El Centro Wonderful goes on. And it's going to be another one for Vinny Giron. I've lost count how many winners he's had today. But it's a lot. El Centro Wonderful takes it there on time. Second more society. Hot Springs wins. And then Dakla Ward County win. Argyle Star. All the way back to the lineup. He never got involved at all today. And a strange race, which was really almost two races in one. If Mercy Star had stayed up, I'm sure we'd run a completely different finish to that one. But as you can see, quite a lot of them are out of the handicap. The winner was indeed out of the handicap himself. El Centro, wonderful for Vinnie Gerard. There on time, David Hooley, second. Law Society for Grand Clusterbuck was third. Hot Springs wins, Vinnie Gerard was fourth. And the fifth place horse momentarily disappeared. As the car has been moved down too quickly, Dakla Wall was fifth for James O'Shea.